Okay, in this video I'm going to be trying to fix the locomotive SD70 Conrail quality. It is cab. Actually, it looks like its cab is fine, but the locomotive isn't. Let's see. It's got a bunch of really complicated errors of dealing with textures that I'll be trying to fix. First one, failed to open compiled texture SD70 body number board numberless dot texture for arc. Okay, this is now it's now it's getting even more confusing. Now they're using words that don't even exist. <laughs> arc. Okay, I, I don't even know what that what that means. <laughs> Local hash, uh, I don't get it. Okay, the point of this to error appears to be that a texture could not load. And what is the name of the texture? Uh, number board numberless dot texture. Okay, let's try to find that. Okay, right click, open for edit, and show in Explorer. Okay, apparently it was in the body folder. I forgot which folder, which, uh, which texture I was looking at. Number board numberless, right? Number board numberless, the texture. Huh, what is this? Number board numberless, is this it? Primary equals aluminum dot texture tally equals st. Okay. Shouldn't I just need a texture to fix it? Okay, so I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure how to fix that. Okay. Where where is aluminum dot texture? I mean, aluminum not TGA. Well, it's a working texture, so I don't see why it's not working. Aluminum. It's spelt correctly. There are no typos in it. Well, the mystery gets even more confusing. Okay, well, I'm going to try to make a texture from scratch that can go in its place. Now, I know by by doing some research on this locomotive that when it ha that the actual backing of the number board is just the color white. So all I should need is a white texture. Any kind of white texture should work. I'll just type in type the color white. <laughs> I have a feeling I have a feeling this is gonna be more complicated than I am making it. Okay, this is just the color white, so I should be able to just copy this and save the image as a JPG for file. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it white. Save time and to make it easier to find. Alright, save that. Now, where where's the folder? I'm going to go to the folder that I saved it in. Oops. Well, wow, what are you doing? <laughs> where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, this has to be resized, obviously, so I'm going to... Okay, right click on it and open with Okay, open with paint. Okay, resize. I'll just do 1024 by 1024. That'll make it a very high detail texture. I'm not sure if it matters how de high detailed it is since it's just a color white. It probably wouldn't matter if you made it less detailed. But either way. Okay, 1024 by 1024. 
and then just control S to save it. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Then I'm going to paste it in here. White. Okay, number board, number list. I'm just gonna say primary equals white dot tg. I mean white dot jpg. And tile equals st. In theory, it should work. I won't know for sure until I try. Okay, so. Fail to load child image for texture file. Number board, number list, number board, number list. That appears to be the only issue. So, open for edit and show in Explorer. Okay, let's see what this is. Number board, number list, number board, number list. What is with, what is it with all these texture files with double names? I don't understand what that's all about. Okay, primary goes aluminum.tj, alpha. Ah, let's see what happens when you change the alpha. I have no idea what either of these are, so I have no idea what changing them does. I'm just experimenting with it to see what it does. Okay, what if I change alpha to to white dot jpg which is the file I made earlier okay now see what happens there's a little child image texture file st70 body number board numberless number board numberless dot texture dot text what does that mean? It failed to load the texture.txt file. Okay, let me try something else. Okay, right click, open for edit, and show in Explorer. Okay, let me delete all that. Now I'm going to copy all of this and place it in a folder I, p I created for the purpose of fixing content. So, uh, and I created this folder just so it's easy to open and, and search for. Okay, now I'm going to open PebSoft PM to IM. It's already an IM file. Okay, so... Let's see, where uh, options, open IM files. To remove or strip unsupported texture types from an IM mesh. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. Desktop, content fixing, body. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, which uh, which one of these meshes is the one with the bad texture? I have no idea. I just know that that texture... You know what? I guess I'm just going to have to open all of them. Okay, that converted it. Okay, now the fuel cap. Man, this is a really complicated locomotive. It has all these meshes in it. I'm actually quite surprised that this did not cause, I'm, I'm surprised this locomotive doesn't cause a lot of lag. Okay, so, copy that and then just paste it back here. And replace the files in the destination. Okay, let's see what that did. Probably nothing. <laughs> nope, did nothing at all. Okay, what is a child image? Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out what a child image is, is first of all. 
Okay, I googled what is a child image and I just got pictures of children, so that didn't help at all. <laughs> that didn't help me in my quest to figure out what a child image is. So, I'm just going to have to guess. <laughs> yeah, open for edit, show in explorer. Okay, I'm trying once again to fix this texture image. Okay, body. Where is it? Number board, numberless. Number board, numberless. You know what? Let me try deleting the text document and seeing. Okay. Actually, just in case that doesn't work, I'm gonna copy it and paste it somewhere else so that I can put it. I, I can put it back in case it actually does need it. Okay, I have it pasted on the desktop so I can find, I can get it back if I need it. Okay, so now I'm just going to delete the number board number list number board number list um, dot text file and see what that does. Just for the purpose of seeing. Oh wait, did I actually fix it? Nope, it's still faulty. Okay, why is it faulty though? Uh, failed to open compile texture body number board number list dot texture for uh, the texture SC70 body number board number list of texture is missing. Okay. I'm thinking it actually does need this file. Okay, let's say a, a primary equals white.jpg and see what that does. Ah, oh, what's happening? How'd that happen? What are you doing? Keyboard? Okay, white dot j p g I will try this again this locomotive has proven to be a very frustrating one indeed to get it to work in this game fail to load child image again child image for texture number board number list number board number list dot texture dot text I don't understand. I replaced the texture and it's still faulty. Yeah, let me try. Okay, let me try deleting the line of text that says alpha. Not sure if that'll do anything, but let's find out. Go to load child image texture file body number board number list number board number list dot texture dot text. I don't know what to do. This thing is just so stubborn. It just doesn't want to be fixed. I don't understand. It works perfectly on trains 12, but I can't seem to fix this error. Let me see if there's anyone else that has posted anything about this locomotive. No working on this game and and that found an answer on how to fix it. I don't understand why this locomotive isn't working. The name of the dot texture file is correct and there are no typos in it. I double checked and triple checked. It's it says primary equals white dot jpg, which is a real which is a real file that has been resized correctly. And it's the correct color, and there's nothing wrong with the file itself. It does open up when I try to load it up uh, using some other kind of file reader, and it's spelled correctly as well. And I and it read and it says tile equals st, which is 
I'm not sure what that means, but that's what all texture texture files say. And that's spelled correctly too. So I really don't know why this isn't working. It should work after I do all that, but it just doesn't want to. Is that the only refueling one that I have that isn't working? Let's see. Well, the Illinois Central one works, but I never used that one. <laughs> the Norfolk Southern one does not work. So basically the only two that I ever used <laughs> aren't working but wait that gives me an idea if this one is working I should be able to just transfer the, the um, texture files that are working from that one to another one in theory oh I hope editing this doesn't make it faulty <laughs> okay so which one was it Number board number list dot texture. Number board diffuse. This one doesn't even have that file. Okay. Well, now I'm even more confused. Where is it? Okay. Oh, that's the description in another language. And yet another language. That's supposed to be Russian, but the game can't read Russian. <laughs> so it just shows up as question marks. Hmm, apparently that's Polish. Man, it has a lot of, okay. Maybe this is the issue. Privileges, it says permit commit zero, permit edit zero. Maybe because it's saying that I don't have the permission to edit it, that's making it faulty. In, in other words, maybe it's programmed to be faulty if you try to edit it. Maybe if I change these to one, it'll somehow give me permission to edit and commit it and that'll make it less that that'll stop it from being faulty I don't know if that's gonna work or not though nope it's still faulty that had nothing to do with it so that wasn't the issue either because there are some items in this game that are basically programmed to fail if you try to edit them usually something that's payware which is really frustrating because it's like if you own it you should be able to make changes if you want to I mean why would you prevent the owner from editing something he already bought right this doesn't make any sense let's see 
Okay, giving permissions to edit and commit didn't do anything. And that's just the numbers that are allowed to appear on the locomotive. Okay. I don't know what that is. What am I supposed to do? When I change the texture to one that uh, that has been properly resized, it doesn't work. You know what? I'm going to stop now because I have I literally have no no ideas left with this locomotive. It just doesn't want to work.